Hi, this is Jason O'Dell, and here's a quick Capture NX2 tip. What I want to show you today is how you can very easily work with non Nikon RAW files in Capture NX. If you've got TIFFs or JPEGs and you want to edit them non destructively using all of the Capture NX tool suite, you can easily do so. So I've got a TIFF file right here, and I'm going to open it up and view it. OK. So the TIFF opens just normally. I could do this also with a JPEG if I wanted to. And when you open a TIFF or a JPEG, you get your normal quick fix, but you'll notice you don't have any of the raw editing options like white balance and that kind of thing. That Those effects are disabled. So if I wanted to make adjustments to this file using my Levels tool, I could do that here. And I can even dial in Highlight and Shadow Protection if I want, and adjust Saturation. Then I have my normal adjust edit list and I can add in steps here. So let me just add in a little curves adjustment with my LCH editor and tweak the saturation up a little bit. And now maybe I want to add a control point to brighten up the face here on this on this big horn. So I can grab my color control point, place it on the shadow brighten it up by just dragging the brightness slider to the right and if I need to I can just zoom in to see what that looks like okay so I can use my control points I can do sharpening so I'll do some unsharp mask on this guy just to sharpen the image and then what you can do is once you've laid down all of your adjustment steps, you can go ahead and save the file. But what you need to do, and this is the trick, is to save all these steps non-destructively. I'm going to go Save As, and I'm going to choose the NEF format. and I'll save it to my desktop. When I do that, I get the option to use compression. It'll always save as compressed NEF when you save a TIFF. And I'm going to choose Save. It goes ahead and saves the file. Now I can close this file, go back to my browser, and here's that NEF file that I just created. When I open it back up, it's going to render just the way I left it, but you'll see all of my steps remain. And that means if I needed to go back and add, say, another color control point here, because I decided I want to make the sky a little bluer and a little more saturated, I can do that. And so as long as I then save this resulting file as an F, what happens is that the original TIFF file is never uh, destructively overwritten. So this TIFF is embedded inside the NEF container. All of the edit steps are here. And I can go back and non-destructively add to them or remove them to my heart's content. So if you're going to work this way, say you've maybe used another uh, image editor, like you converted something out of uh, Lightroom or Aperture and you send it to Capture NX, you can send it a TIFF. And you can work with the files in those ways and get all of the benefits of non-destructive editing with the, the edit list and still preserve the original file in this container. Thanks again for joining me.